Amen. Oh, the Lord has been so good to us. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for yet another day. We give him all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. He alone deserves our praise and our worship. We thank him for the gift of life, for being so gracious unto us. We thank him for his loving kindness and his mercies over our lives. Amen. 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 Um, you know, sometimes we, we get disappointed in life. You know, sometimes we get disappointed in life. When people try to do business with us, and then in the last minute, they will come and then say, oh, you know, you know what? Oh, uh, this business, I don't, I, I'm not interested in it anymore. So they will cancel it out. We get disappointed sometimes. Disappointment is, is part of human nature. But as believers, we have to know how to handle them. Amen. 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 I want to read something from Psalms 34, verse 18. It says, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and he saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Amen. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 18 and 19. I'm talking about a topic or something I have entitled Saturday's Disappointment. Saturday's Disappointment. Amen. Amen. You know, disappointment can come in a business. Sometimes it's a job. You're looking for a job. You go for the interview. You do everything right. But at about at the last minute, they will tell you, you know what, we can't offer you this job. That's a huge disappointment. It could be in friendship. Your best friend, somebody that you trust very much. It could be in a re relationship. You are trying to get married to somebody. And at the last minute, that person will disappoint you. you see, disappointment comes in various forms. You see, when you read the Bible, uh, throughout, throughout last week, I've been reading and listening to the Gospel. I read Matthew, the last part of Matthew, Luke, Mark, John. I read them all. And I found out that when Jesus was arrested, crucified that Friday, when he died that afternoon, and he was buried that Friday, on the next day, which is Saturday, there was no story. The Bible was silent. When you read all the four Gospels, you will find out that the Bible was silent on Saturday. No activity was mentioned on Saturday. All that the Bible says is that and on Friday, Jesus was taken and he was buried. And then nothing happened on Saturday. So Sunday, it will say that Jesus or, or the, uh, Mary Madeline, they ran to the tomb. You see, that is what the Bible talks about. So what happened on Saturday? That is why I have termed this as Saturday's disappointment. 
Saturday's disappointment. Because, you see, when Jesus died, all the disciples, they were very disappointed. Even though Saturday, we know Saturday was the Sabbath day that they used to rest. Resting doesn't mean that there was no thinking or they were not thinking about anything. There, was, there were a lot of thinkings going on in their minds on Saturday. There were a lot of disappointment going on because you know what? Their master, Jesus Christ, is dead. They had hope in Jesus that he is the one who is going to liberate Israel from the hands of the Romans. They saw him do so many miracles. And now he is gone. Jesus is dead. So, Friday night, Jesus is gone. They woke up Saturday and it's Sabbath. What do you think was going on throughout their minds? Throughout the whole day? They were disappointed. Perhaps somebody like Peter, he was thinking about going back to fishing. Because, you know, the master is gone. And what, what is he looking forward to? After three and a half years following Jesus, they've taken him away. So he, his mind was like, you know, let me go and find my boat. Let me go and see who I gave the boat and the net to and go and get it and go start fishing again. When you read the Bible, the Bible says, some of the believers started going back to their hometown. The journey to Amaios. They followed Jesus for three and a half years. But they were disappointed on that Saturday because Jesus has been taken away. Now, Peter, when his mother-in-law when his mother, mother -in -law gets sick, who is he going to call? So he was thinking about it. Mary and Martha, they were thinking about if our brother Lazarus gets sick, who are we going to call? So there was a lot of thinking, disappointment on that Saturday. And it's, it's just like us. You see, we have plans. We have made decisions. But they don't all work out. Sometimes we face disappointment. Sometimes we are disappointed by our own decisions. Sometimes we are disappointed by other people's decisions. But what we have to know is that as believers, disappointment will come. But we have to know how to control them. As believers, disappointment, they are bound to happen. You see, when, when disappointment comes, sometimes you don't you don't have you don't have the energy to even open your Bible and read. You don't even want to pray. When disappointment comes, your energy level is so low. Nothing of spiritual importance matters to you. But this is the time that you have to know who you are. And you have to know the God that you serve. The Bible says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. And saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Amen. 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 So, Amen. in 
on that Saturday disappointment, the disciples, they didn't know at that time when Jesus died on that Saturday, they never knew that Jesus was going to get up. They didn't know that Jesus was going to resurrect. The Bible says it wasn't in their mind. They have no idea about it. Until the next day, when Jesus got up from the grave, visited them, and told them to remember what the prophet said, what the prophets have said concerning him. That is when they started thinking about, oh yeah, that is true. And you even said something. You know, that's where things began to come together for them. On that Saturday, they were all broken hearted. They were all down. Their spirit was down. But, you see, after the bro after the after the disappointment comes the resurrection. You see, after, after the Saturday disappointment, the next day was a Sunday. And that was the resurrection. See, disappointments don't last forever. Amen. Disappointment will never last forever. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. There is always going to be a Sunday after your Saturday disappointment. After looking into yourselves, thinking, making decisions, regretting from your decisions, after beating yourself down, having all these disappointments, you have to remember that Sunday is coming. And that Sunday is the resurrection day. Hallelujah. There is going to be a resurrection if we faint not. Peter, Peter was about to go. He was about to go back. Three and a half years. Let me go back. Let me go and look for my net. Let me go and fish again. I still have the skills. Let me go. They didn't know what to do because the master was gone. They have killed the master. But that Sunday brought hope. That Sunday, after Jesus resurrected, they were all energized. They didn't remember that Saturday anymore. They didn't remember that, 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 that disappointment. Because when Jesus resurrected, he resurrected with power. And they saw it. They were happy. They, were, they, they, they rejoiced. In the power of the living God. Sunday. Sunday. Is coming. It doesn't matter. What your Saturday is. It doesn't matter. What you are going through. What is kind of disappointment you have been through. Sunday. Is coming. Look forward. Look forward to Sunday. You, 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 it's, you see, disappointment is inevitable. You, can, you, cannot, you cannot dodge it. You cannot escape it. It will come. It will come one way or the other. It's going to come. But as a believer, you have to know that there's always another day. There's always going to be a Sunday. Sunday is going to come. Don't dwell on your disappointments. Don't dwell on the job that you didn't get. The money that somebody promised you and they didn't give it to you. The, the business uh, uh, deal that didn't go through. You don't have to dwell on that. Always look forward for hope. Hope in Christ. Hope that Jesus will resurrect in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless you all in the name of Jesus. 
We're going to enter into a time of prayer. Adam Fonya Kopo Yadi Wa Ye Yimawo Open Peswa Odiana Abedri Yadawas Yo Wampa <laughs> Yadi wa ye yimawo Yamawe wa pampaswa Odiyana bedri Yadi wa syo you see you see that Saturday that Saturday was a was a disappointing day everybody was going through something they were all thinking about something in their heads. I could, I, I, I can uh, uh, see them, you know, whispering to themselves, what are we going to do? Now that he's gone, because it was a Sabbath, probably not, not many people can go outside, but in their homes, in their minds, there were a lot of thinking going on. Just like us. When we face disappointments, you can't even sleep. You fight with your pillow. Sleep will never catch your eye. You whisper to yourself. Sometimes you talk, you talk to yourself. You speak aloud. Because of disappointment. But God is faithful. His plans are higher than our plans. When people think, or people thought that they are they have eliminated Jesus Christ. They didn't know that that was the plan of God to bring salvation to the whole world. They didn't know. They thought that they were eliminating Jesus Christ. This guy, but that was the plan of God to bring peace to the whole world. To bring salvation to the whole world. To forgive the whole world. Your, disappoint, your disappointment can turn out to be a stepping stone for your life. Your disappointment can turn out to be a blessing for you. I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Let us pray and say to God, whatever that is happening in my life, whether it is sickness that I'm waiting for healing, whether it is business that somebody has disappointed me, whatever it is, whether it is marriage that somebody has disappointed me, whether it is friendship, whatever it is, whatever it is, have your way in my life. Have your way in my life, Lord, because your ways are higher than my ways, because your plans are higher than my plans. I may see it as a disappointment. But to you, Lord, it is, oh God, something that you are going to use to elevate me. I may see it as the disappointment. 
But in the eyes of God, God is using it to bring you his blessings. God's ways are better. His ways are mightier. His ways are, 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 are bigger. His ways are higher. His ways are much, much, much better than our ways. Let him have his way in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I throw out my will. I give you all my will. Let your will be done in my life. In the name of Jesus, have your way, O oh God. Have your way. I may have been disappointed, O oh God. I may have been looked down, disappointed. But, O oh God, I know you can make good things out of nothing. Use my disappointment, O oh God, to bring glory to your name. Use my disappointment, O oh God, to move me to the next level. I know, O oh God, that you are doing a new thing in my life. Have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. Lord, we honor you in the name of Jesus. Father, we know, O oh God, that your ways are better. We know that your ways are higher. We know that your ways are much, much, much good, O oh Lord, than ours, O oh God. Have your way in our lives. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. Rakato robo sikatari yama. Yendere masai kino robo sinde yandere bo. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Rabakito robo masai kino robo sinde yandere bo. You see, when, when there is disappointment, you begin to ask yourself questions. What should I do? What what could I what could I have done better? What mistakes did I make? How can I make things right? You begin to ask yourself so many questions. But this is the time that we have to surrender unto God. Surrender everything, our will, our life, our surrender everything unto his hands. And say, Lord, take it. You lead me. You take the steps and I will follow you. Take the lead, O Lord, and hold my hands. And let me follow your footsteps. Because I know when you lead me, you will lead me to greener pastures. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, have your way. Father, lead me. Father, take the steps and help me follow your footsteps. Lead me, O God, into the still waters. Lead me, O Lord, into the greener pastures. Lead me, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. There are so many questions, O God, that comes into our minds. We begin, O God, to beat ourselves down. We begin, O oh God, to interrogate ourselves because things didn't go right. Because things didn't go the way we expect them to go. But we know, O oh Lord, you know everything from the beginning to the end. Father, lead me, Lord. Lead my footsteps, O oh God. Take me hand, oh Take my hand, O oh God. Lead me to the still waters. Lead me to the greener pastures. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Rabo sikata raba kitoro mama. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Andere bo sikata raba kitoro ma. Rema saiki nori ya mashikande yandere bo. Rakato robo sikata raba kitori ya mama. Le masaiki nori ya mashinde yandere bo kandea. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says we walk through the valley of the shadow of the earth. We fear no evil because the Lord is with us. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we walk with your spirit. Your, you have promised us the Lord. Your spirit will be with us. Your spirit is inside us. Your angels are guiding us. Throughout this week, O oh Lord, wherever we go, whatever we do, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We fear no evil. Help us, O oh God, to put our trust in you. Help us, O oh God, to, rem to remind us of this word. Wherever we go, O oh Lord, let us, let us know. Let us realize this, that you are with us, O oh God. That your spirit is with us. That whatever we do, we will never go wrong because you are with us. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray and we commit ourselves unto your hands, O oh God. Throughout the week, O oh God, wherever we go, whatever place that we step, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, we take absolute control of the other place. We pray that, Lord, your spirit, your presence will go with us, O oh God. Your word says, oh, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. Father, we thank you for your promises. In the name of Jesus, we are so grateful that your angels carry us. We are so thankful that your Holy Spirit resides in us. We are so grateful that, Lord, you lead us, O oh God, not into temptation, the Lord you, you, you will lead us, O oh God, our going out and our coming in, uh, that no evil will be for us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your promises. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rakataraba, Kito Robo, Shinde Yanderema. Lebra saikinori ya mashikoro karaba lendere bo saikinori yandeya. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that throughout the week, the Lord is going to provide. He's He's the God that provides. Our Jehovah Jireh. He's the God. That takes care of his people. He knows the needs of his children. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide in Jesus' name whatever we need, whatever we have asked, whatever request we have made. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, if we make any request in the name of Jesus, it shall be granted. So we are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever request you have made before God, may the Lord provide it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, I come before you because you are faithful. Father, your word says, if I make any request in the name of Jesus, you are going to grant it. In Jesus' name, I bring all my requests before you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your ears that are open to the, to the prayers of the righteous. We thank you, the Lord. You have ordered your angels, O God, to bring the, to bring the answers to our prayers. We thank you, the Lord. You have opened heaven windows and heaven doors and you have poured your blessings over us. We thank you for providing for us, providing for our families in the name of Jesus. We thank you that Lord you have made all things possible for us in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabo Kataraba. Andere bosi katari ya mashikoro karaba kindoro mama. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Let's bring ourselves before God. The Bible says, By the stripes of Jesus we are healed. At this point, we are going to pray in Jesus' name. Whatever sickness that is hiding in your body, whatever sickness that has manifested in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. 
We claim this promise in the name of Jesus. May the healing power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may it flow through our bodies from the top of our heads to, to the very soul on our feet. May, may it flow through us in the name of Jesus. May the, may the healing power flow through us in Jesus' name and bring healing in the name of Jesus. Father God, in Jesus' name, we pray for healing, O Lord, whatever sickness that is hampering, O God, in our bodies, whatever sickness, O God, oh, that, that, that is in us, that has manifested, that is about to manifest, Father, all that we know is that the stripes of Jesus takes care of all these sicknesses, all these diseases, all these infirmities. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pronounce healing unto our bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are strong, even though when we, we are weak, we, we, we declare that we are stronger. We are strong because of the Lord of Jesus, because of the power of the Holy Spirit, because of the stripes of Jesus that heals us, we are strong, we are healthy in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your mighty hand. Thank you for touching our natural bodies, our mortal bodies. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we are grateful for your touch, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We can see your hand, O oh God, touching our bodies. And we are grateful, O oh God. We thank you. We thank you for the healing that you have made manifest, O oh God. We can see you, O oh God, providing. We can see you, O oh Lord, O oh, ordering your angels, O oh God, to bring our needs, the, 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 the answers to our needs. Father, in the name of Jesus, we can see it, O oh God. And we believe it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the manifestation of this healing. We thank you, O oh God, for the manifestation, O oh God, of all the provisions that, Lord, we have laid before you today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. But then let us pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray and commit our families, our children, our grandchildren, our nephews, our nieces, our brothers and sisters. Let us hide them in the blood of Jesus. Let us pray for protection for them in the name of Jesus. Because you know what? When something happens to our brothers and our sisters and our nephews and our children and our grandchildren, they affect us indirectly. So we are going to pray. In Jesus' name, we have the power to release anybody that the devil has entangled, the devil has gripped. We have the power to release them. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will protect our families, the Lord will protect our children in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I hide my children in the blood of Jesus. I hide my family in the blood of Jesus. I hide my, my, my brothers, my sisters in the blood of Jesus. I hide my friends in the blood of Jesus. I hide everyone on this line in the blood of Jesus. I pray that Lord, oh, your protection will cover them. They are going out and they are coming in. Father, you will have your hand, oh God, upon their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, God, that your pillar of clouds, O oh God, will lead them, that your pillar of fire, O oh God, will follow them. Whatever step that they take, may your holy angels carry them in the name of Jesus. I blind every evil that is trying to track their movement, that is trying to hurt them, that is trying to do anything against them in the name of Jesus. Whatever I have decreed today, it is decreed in heaven because the word of God says, what Whatever I say, whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven, and I believe it, and I, I, I declare it, I command it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for building a shield, O oh God, of fire, protection around my family. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, we give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. At this point, if anybody has any prayer request, okay, in the absence of any prayer request, let us pray for, um, let us pray for our sister Jacqueline our sister Mercy, uh, Ma Florence, and our Reverend Mawuli. Let us continue to pray for them in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will make way for them. Whatever they have asked in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray in Jesus' name. Father God, in Jesus' name, we lift our mother Florence, before you, O oh God, we thank you, Lord, for the wonderful things that you are doing in her body. We thank you. We give you glory. We know that, O oh God, oh, everything will come to an end, and that glory and honor will be given unto your name in a mighty way. We thank you for our sister Jacqueline and our sister Mercy. Father, we pray and we are so grateful that, Lord, you are making a new way for them, O oh God, that, Lord, O oh God, oh, your name will be glorified at the end in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you for the blood of Jesus that has covered them in all their ways thank you Lord for the glory that you have shown in their faces oh God wherever they step oh God they are stepping in your glory and that oh God their request will be made manifest to God in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord or oh, whatever they have put before you oh God father you will hear you will answer you will bring it to pass in their lives in Jesus name thank you for our reverend thank you Lord for making a way for him oh God we pray that Lord you will hold his hand you will lead him you will give him knowledge you will teach him in the name of Jesus thank you Father thank you Lord in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Oh, Papa, I will go back to was for this wonderful family prayer meeting. We thank you in for Jesus all name. our life. We thank you for all our prayers that have been met. We thank you that you have glorified your name. Amen. We thank you for the miracles that you are performing in our lives. Oh, yes, thank Lord. You for your thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your spirit. Oh, we bless you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the manifestation of God. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. We are so grateful unto you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you. Father, we bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are so grateful unto you. Unto you be all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. Father, we thank you that you have bowed down your ears, Lord, to listen to our prayers. Your ears are inclined, O oh God, because your children are praying. Father, your word says, O oh God, oh, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Father, we are righteous, not by our own works, not by our own righteousness, but through the righteousness of Christ, which was imputed in us when we believe in him when we believe in his name when we believe that he is the savior he is the messiah and that oh God through your grace and your mercy so oh God you made us righteous if you see us righteous so oh God then your word says so oh Lord oh the fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much let our prayers avail much oh God in your eyes in your eyes in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we come before you Lord Lord, not by our own accord, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, the precious name of Jesus, your only Son, your Son that you gave unto us, O God, we come in His name, O God. Father, your word says, O Lord, if we come in Jesus' name, we have to come, O God, with confidence and boldness, enter into your throne of grace and mercy, and we will receive mercy. Thank you, Lord, for the mercies that you have given unto us. Thank you for the favor. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the protection in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.